Hey everybody, it's Glam and T, and I'm actually reviewing two products today that um, are brand new. I have not heard much on them, um, and I'm kind of going to do things a little differently. I don't normally do my foundation before I do uh, my eyeshadow, but I'm going to do it a little backwards because I really wanted to review these products. So I'm actually going to review for you guys the Revlon Candid, brand new. Um, Photo Ready Candid is what it's called. Um, I know that the concealer itself has some antioxidants in it. I know it has caffeine, um, anti-blue light, which is not quite sure what. Um, maybe I should do some research and I'll let you guys know. And then I am going to do the medium buildable coverage, anti-pollution, antioxidant, anti-blue light, oil-free. Um, I actually picked the shade Nude. Um, it's so hard when you're going into drugstores knowing what foundations to pick, but just so you guys know, if you ever find something um, in the drugstore that you get that you can't find the right shade or it makes you break out, you actually can return cosmetics, so don't let anyone ever tell you you can't. Um, anyways, and then the concealer I picked in shade 5, which is fair, and I just wanted to show you guys this. Hey, Dan. Hey. Can you say hi? Hey, buddy. He's actually looking at me in the mirror while I'm doing this. So, I already have my brows done. Um, I used a pencil today, which I used the Maybelline Brow Precise, and it doesn't have a shade color on it. Um, but it's a micro pencil. I do like that you can get individual brow hairs, although I didn't do that yet. Um, and then it does have a spoolie on the end. So let's move into the concealer. So, toothless, stop. All right, so the first thing that I'm seeing, I really like this applicator on it. It's kind of got a nice shape to it, and it has a little curve to it. So I'm going to put that right underneath the brow. Then I'm going to grab a concealer brush and blend that in. All right. So far I'm liking it. Um, it stays pretty damp, which that's the main reason why I haven't been using one of the other popular brands out there, Shape Tape, um, just because it's it dries so quickly for me and I like to be able to move it around for a little while. So I'm going to blend that. Clean up the edge. And the thing that I like is, well, on this, at least right now, it's showing really, really light, but it actually blends pretty, pretty well. So I'm going to move on, do the other brow, clean up the upper edge, and I will be back so we can do a foundation review. Okay, so I'm going in with my Sp Smashbox Photo Focus um, Foundation Primer. The thing I like about this is it's silicone based, so it really helps fill in the pores and everything. So I just take a small amount and kind of dab that in the areas where I want it to go. So mainly my nose area and a little bit into the cheeks. I know you guys can kind of see them. And I just kind of press that in the skin using a little bit of a rolling motion. And the thing I wanted to tell you is that cucumber um, spray that I used actually dries down really well. Gives you just a nice finish on the skin. So I'm going to press this in. And then we will move into trying the foundation. So again, we're trying the Revlon Candid, Photo Ready Candid. A little bit of excess, going to just move in that around. Move it into the cheek area a little bit. This has a nice powdery finish. If 
feel to it so it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily. I have seen that Wet n Wild has something similar in a stick form. I know that um, I think it was Maybelline has some similar to this. Pretty much everybody's got this. It's a silicone based. Um, I've just used the Smashbox one forever. Um, it says create the perfect canvas for makeup application. Get a velvety smooth even complexion with our best-selling primer wear alone or under foundation. So if you have good enough skin um, to just kind of set it over your face, I say rock it. Um, I do not. I'm very, very conscious about my face. So it's kind of funny that I let you guys see this process um, just because I'm so, I have some sun damage. Um, I have a ton of breakouts. Even at 38, it's kind of scary how much I have. Anyways, moving on. So we are moving in with the Revlon uh, Photo Ready Candid, and again in the shade 200, which is nude. So I just want to show you guys, um, I am using a blending sponge. Um, this is the original shape. This is a dirty one that I have to clean. This is it after you just dampen a bit. So it actually opens up the sponge and it makes it so it kind of gives you just that airbrush finish and it also um, I've seen some ads where people have been cutting apart their their blenders um, there's a brand out there that says it won't hold your product well it's a sponge sponges absorb products and if you dampen it just a bit it actually helps it blend out um, and it just gives it a bigger finish a softer finish if you were to feel this it's actually pretty stiff and hard and the texture is really rough but as soon as you smooth it it's almost like a velvet finish it's very very soft so moving into the foundation. Um, so I kind of explained earlier, you can return things if they're not the right shade or if they make you break out or you just don't love the product, you can return them. So I am going to, we'll go on the sponge. Um, I just kind of, from years of knowing how to match foundation, but you want to match it to your neck as best as you possibly can. And it's so hard because they don't have testers in there. So what I recommend doing is going to um, actually just searching the product and seeing shade swatches and seeing what's close to your skin. And then you can kind of play around a little bit from there. So um, definitely tons of product. One pump is more than enough. Two was a bit excessive. And it seems to be matching pretty well to my skin on my neck. So, so far I'm loving it. I know it's a medium finish, so I know I'm going to end up probably building more as I go. Um, the other thing I want you guys to know is I primed my eyelids. So when I go in for shadows later. So let's just get this on and see. It's very light feeling very actually cooling feeling I don't know what that's from like I've used it's weird it's kind of cool and it doesn't smell bad so that's good so I don't know if you guys can see this that well or not um, but down to my neck it matches really really well um, I'm going to try and get you guys some tricks on the how to find the best drugstore foundation for your shade. Um, I just have to work out the logistics of that. So I'm going to move in from the other side. My daughter's alarm has been going off like every 30 minutes since about 6 o'clock this morning. So that's not fun. All right. So just again, dabbing that onto the skin. Um, kind of giving it the best finish. Hi, Toothless. Hi, Giddy. He has been so intrigued with the makeup process lately. It's kind of funny. He'll just come in, crawl up my lap, and then sit and stare at himself in the mirror. Hi. Hi, buddy. A little bit more I'm actually really liking this foundation um, and it was only 
$8.97 at Walmart and it was $6.97 for the concealer so um, you don't get a ton of product. It is at 0.75 fluid ounces so 22 milliliters. That's not a ton um, compared to a solid fluid ounce but the price difference is where you know basically I would have to buy like three of these to be equivalent to the price of my other one so kind of different that way all right moving on doing the forehead it's this cooling effect is so it's not uncomfortable it's just weird it's different it, I'm not used to it so I'm gonna kind of move in I can't zoom in actually well I'll take some macro shots I got a new macro lens at Walmart too um it just kind of clips on Woo! clips onto your lens I wonder how weird hold on guys Eh, really doesn't do much, but it's got a macro lens and a fisheye lens. It's kind of cool because I took some pictures of my nail polish yesterday. So, all right. It's looking pretty decent. Um, I'll probably do a check-in video later on for you guys so you can see how it's worn throughout the day. I am going to sneak my concealer ah! toothless did not want me to have the concealer so i'm gonna conceal i don't know if you guys can see i've got some horrendous and discoloration in here um he took my mirror so we're gonna just kind of wing it use my ring finger and kind of push it up into the area that i want it to conceal up under the eye. Light dabbing motion is the best way to do this. Um, any sort of rubbing can cause micro tears because you're pulling the skin tissue underneath your eye is so, so thin. So thin. So I'm just doing some patting motions. And I'm going to go in with the sponge and just kind of touch it up a little bit. Just to Soften it down. I don't know what's going on. Right under here. Sorry, I went out of frame. So you can see the difference between concealing under the eye and not concealing under the eye. It just brightens the whole area up. Um, kind of gives it a refreshed look. <laughs> no, kitty. No. So moving that up where I want it to give me some better coverage, tapping it into place. And I'm kind of pushing it up pretty far underneath the eye um, just to conceal that whole area. I'll probably do some smoky shadows underneath. So it's kind of just prepping that under eye area too for shadows. Toothless. So, have you ever seen, I'm sure you guys all have seen where the cats just go in and knock things off the counters? Well, if I'm not careful, careful, he'll actually come in and take off with my sponges. So, you can still see a little bit of the darkness through, so that's a little concerning to me, but I can go in with a white shadow later and brighten that up. All in all, you you guys, and I know I say you guys a lot, but all in all, I'm actually really loving just one application of this foundation. It's covered. I mean, I can still see a little bit of the dark spots, so I'll probably touch that up. Um, and so even after priming my pores, you can still see them. So I just wanted you guys to see what I was talking about. Um, and I'll probably add more foundation over that. Um, and then just kind of conceal up. 
some of these areas that are still poking through and then um, I'm gonna pop on some eyeshadow and everything and I'll kind of give you guys like I said a final review later on during the day so this is the Revlon new uh, photo ready candid foundation and concealer so this is the first time in a long time I've actually used Revlon products so we'll see how my skin feels and everything as we move on so thank you guys for checking in um, I like I said I'll check in later on throughout the day show you how the wearability um, like I said I am gonna add just a little more foundation into this area just because it's showing through. I know it is a medium finish, so I do have to build it up more. Um, I'm hoping to get out and enjoy the sunshine and just kind of move through, and I will see you guys all later on today. Bye!